Hi guys, um, in this video we're going to talk about the L'Hopital's rule, okay? Then I'm going to take an example to better explain it, alright? So we're having a function f of x equals to the sine of x divided by x, okay? And we need to take, you know, to find the limit of the function when x tends to 0. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. The limit of this function, sine of x, it's a quotient function, right? Divided by x when x tends to 0 will be equal to, when you, when you plug 0 here in here, right, in a sine, sine of 0 is 0, okay, it's going to give you 0. And divided by x, you plug x 0 in x here, it's going to give you 0 divided by 0 okay and this is what this is actually an undeterminate it's an indeterminate determinate form okay and that's where um the l'hopital's rule uh, rules applies okay l'hopital rules uh, allow us to you know to take a derivative of both the numerator and the denominator i mean as much as possible right and then apply the limit on it Okay, so let's just do that. So we're gonna say that the limit, and uh, and Lupita also say that this is it. Say that the limit, if you take the of the derivative sine, uh, let me just put it like this: the derivative, the limit of the derivative of sine of x, let me put it like this: prime divided by x prime. When x tends to zero equals to if it, if this derivative gives a value like l, okay, this value is also equal to the limit of sine of x. I mean, to the original function divided by x. That's what L'Hopital tells us. Okay, so let us go go ahead doing that. Uh, the limit when x tends to zero of the derivative of the cosine is of the sine is cosine excuse me is cosine of x and the derivative of x is one so divided by one so we still have the cosine okay and if you plug x is zero into x here the cos the cosine of zero is one yeah and that's the limit of our function okay it means that uh this limit like we say l it's also the limit of this function right here. And this is what the L'Hopital's rules is all about. Okay? So we're going to take a second example. So in our second example, we're going to take the limits of you know, when x tends to 0 of the sine of 5x over x. Okay? And as you can see, it's gonna give her the same thing, right? And if you are, we having the the same indeterminate form. So when applying the uh, L'Hopital's rules on it, yeah, we're gonna have to derivate this, the the numerator and also the denominator. And by derivating the numerator, it's gonna give us five sine si, five cosine of five x. Okay, and this is equal to uh, divided by one, of course, when you derivate, take a derivative of x. And when you apply zero on it, it plug zero in it now, the cosine of zero is one, so the result will be here five. Okay, five. So this other example, the limit when x tends to one of two natural logarithm of x divided by x minus one. I mean, you know, with a logarithm, you have to take, I mean, the, your first value should be one because the logarithm of zero doesn't exist. So that's why I'm taking one here, okay? So here again, okay, we're gonna have a, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> We're gonna have uh, um, the log of one of one is zero. 
we have a 0 over 0, we're going to still have an undeterminate, indeterminate form. So what we're going to do here, we're going to derivate, take a derivative of 2 log of x and x minus 1. The, the derivative of 2 log of x is 2 divided by x. And derivative of the bottom is 1. Okay. And if you say that now that this is a limit, okay, excuse me, I can do it this way. Um, so that would be the limit when x tends to 1 of 2x, 2 over x, over 1. Okay. And if you apply 1 in it now, of course, this is going to give you 2. All right. Okay. Uh, but but also we get you know the indeterminate form is not not only zero over zero okay it, it could also be uh, infinity over infinity and this is an example so our example is we we find we need to find or we're finding looking for the limit of x when x tends to the infinity of e to the x divided by x okay exponential function natural exponential function okay here when x tends to the infinity okay the value of e gets bigger okay so and if x tends to the infinity the bottom would tend to infinity so we're gonna we're gonna have a type of indeterminate form infinity over infinity and here also we need to do to take a derivative of uh the numerator and the denominator so we will say that the limit of uh, when x tends to the infinity of the the um, the derivative of, of exponential of x is exponential exponential x and the derivative of the bottom is one so when we apply the infinity here inside it gives us the infinity this is one okay and now our last example in this example, we're going to learn that it is uh, necessary, sometimes it's necessary to use the L'Hopital's rule, yeah, several times in, a, in the same problem by derivating as much as possible, okay, until you get a result. Okay, this example is going to show us what I mean. Uh, we got a limit when x tends to uh, 0 of 1 minus cosine of x divided by x to the 2 okay so when we apply when we plus 0 in here it gives us 1 minus 1 it is 0 and 0 so we have in the indeterminate form 0 over 0 now we can take a der derivative of both the numerator and the denominator okay so that's gonna give us uh, the derivative of the cosine remember we told about the cosine and, and the and, and the sign when you are on a unit circle okay the sign positive is here okay this is a sign positive the cosine positive is here the sign negative is there and the sign and the cosine negative is here so the value what we're looking for is this one here we want to derive it and derivating mean going clockwise uh, right on a unit circle it is the one here the derivative i put a d okay and integrating that's what i said before and integrating will be uh, the reverse direction this is integrated i okay so we derivative we're here and we want to find the derivative of, of minus cosine it is sine of course okay so derivative here will be cosine as uh, uh, sine of x okay divided by 2x but st we still have the same problem we apply 0 here it's going to be 0 over 0 okay we still going to have 0 over 0 so let us take uh, another derivative okay and the derivative of sine here right here is a cosine so this is equal to the cosine uh, excuse me this is equal to the cosine of x the cosine of x over 2 okay okay it looks like not a cosine hold on look like a six here um right here yeah right here it is a zero okay okay
Okay, the cosine of x divided by over zero, if you want. Okay, and now you know we took two derivatives. Now I think that we might be able to find the result now. And now if you say that we plot zero in the cosine, it gives us one. Of course, the result is one half. Okay, and that's our final result. So that's what I mean. It is possible to take derivative, you know, several times in the same problem. I mean, using the uh, the Lupita's rule. Okay. Um, in our next video, we're going to talk about other kind of indeterminate form. For example, zero to the power of zero. That's also an indeterminate form that we will we will do in our next video. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching again. Until next time. Bye bye.